In today's video, I'm going to share with you some insane in-game settings that makes me have aim assist and anti-recoil like this. So as you guys saw, man, I have amazing anti-recoil and aim assist on the PS5. As you guys can see, I'm clearly on the PS5 with my controller at the bottom right with my Chrono Zen. Now, if you don't know how to set up your PS5 with your Chrono Zen efficiently and effectively so your scripts actually work, then watch the video link down below in the comments. It's a very, very good tutorial. Now, if you want more one-on-one -on -one support where we can literally help you one-on-one, -on -one, check out the link down below in the description in my VIP community. We have so many members. We help dial in your Chrono Zen. But if you follow this video, you will be set, guys, for your in-game settings. I'm going to break down everything for you so first things first guys you're gonna have to go into your settings and go to controller the first step that's very important is that you know what in-game button let you play on so that you guys can actually match it with the script you're using okay so right now guys i'm on default okay but a lot of people i know are on default uh they're on flip so they click this thing here where they shoot with l1 r1 okay they shoot with uh the front one rather than the back one now if that's the case you have to make sure you flip the script as well so your settings on your script also need to be flipped to match your in-game button layout or else the script won't work the anti-recoil aims is literally won't work okay so keep this in mind guys the next part control vibration make sure that is on it just helps make sure the script can actually register the aim is anti-recoil you know efficiently and effectively okay the next part guys dead zone inputs now this part is actually very very important to understand how to adjust now where is it right stick minimum is pretty much the one that you want to be playing with now my controller as you can see my controller bottom right i have no uh stick drift honestly i don't feel stick drift i think there is a way you can test it um, I'm not going to go into that today's video. Obviously you can just feel if you have stick drift or not. The lower your right stick minimum, honestly, the stronger your aim assist will be, right? So typically if you have a lower, lower dead zone, your aim assist will be more sticky. It will be more effective and you won't have to actually have your values as high. Okay. So keep that in mind, guys. If you have a lower dead zone, you can lower your aim assist values. If you have a higher dead zone, I would have higher aim assist values. Now, like I said, you want to make sure your controller doesn't have too much stick drift. So if you have a lot of stick drift, don't bring your value down. All right, it'll just mess up your aim. It won't, it won't make it feel good. But for me, I play around from uh, right stick minimum of five up until 10, maximum I go 13, okay? I like having it around 10, you know, it just gives me a lot of control over the aim assist and anti-recoil. Um, the next part that we're gonna adjust is going to be aiming. So guys, I play on a 6.6. Six. The lowest I would go is 5.5 five, and the highest I will go is 11 to 12. The reason being is anything higher than this, the aim assist has a hard time sticking and locking on. And anything lower than this, it has a hard time actually tracking because what the aim assist does is slows down your aim. Now, going on to the next menu, the ADS sensitivity, I always keep mine at one. The reason being is if it's too low, like I said, your aim assist will slow down way too much and you won't be able to stick and lock onto your target. Now, if you want to lower it a little bit, I'll go 0 0.90, 0 0.95, nothing lower. If you want to bring it lower, just decrease your sensitivity. Your six sensitivity, okay. So multipliers, you got to keep it all on one. Um, response curve, I always keep it on standard. You guys can try dynamic, but dynamic makes my aim a little too crazy. A little, it just doesn't lock on. It has good tracking, but it just doesn't lock on the same as standard, okay. Um, the rest, guys, not that important. I keep everything default. The reason why we keep it default is so that we can let the Chrono Zen aim assist take over. We don't want to boost our in game settings aim assist because we're literally using a third party device, Chrono Zen. That will help us get more aim assist guys so next thing guys is our graphics we want to make sure our graphics the fob is very important guys i play 120 affected now the lowest i would go is 105 i've tested so many times because 105 is the lowest i will go the uh, reason being at 120 is because the anti-recoil is so much better and like i said guys we're having less focus on anti-recoil on end game settings and we're just trying to focus on aim assist from the chrono zen so if your fob is lower you're gonna have to dial in those anti-recoil values more and it makes it a little bit more difficult all right so guys that is the in-game settings man i hope you enjoyed the video i'm gonna leave you with a little bit of gameplay highlights um let me know what you think about the new setup guys with the chrono zen you guys see how hd it is well wow. uh, i got a camera um controller as well um but yeah man, let me know guys if you have any questions or if you want any help just let me know and i got you guys i'll see you in the next one <laughs>